Chairman, sir, the old mantra of water scarcity and the danger of the tap being turned off as a result of a breakdown in relations with Malaysia are in need of an upgrade. Circumstances have changed and the desire of earlier generations of leaders to diversify our water sources has proved to be a boon many Singaporeans are thankful for. The development of new water and desalination has contributed to this. However, the pricing of such purification methods are not totally transparent to members of the public, unlike raw water. While the cost of these new methods of purification can be significant, I believe there is scope to share more details of pricing, both upstream and downstream, in order to drive home a message of the preciousness of water. I acknowledge that sharing such information with the public requires accounting for the cost of upgrading and the building of transmission networks, and the, because the price of water is only one component, while, while there are other costs, including R&D. But that does not mean that it cannot be done, and such an approach will give members of the public greater understanding about why water tariffs need to rise, and hopefully even moderate in future. Water consumption trends for households are on a downward trend. I believe there is scope to lower our per capita domestic water consumption even further than the 140 litres per person by 2030. PUB's water closet replacement project for flats built between 1987 and 1992 for residents in small flats on community assistance assistance provides a foretaste of the significant opportunities available for a whole-of-government approach to water conservation. While the initiative is provided free of charge, can we not look at extending such initiatives when major HDB upgrading exercises such as HIP are carried out in view of the scale of benefits that can be achieved potentially resulting in lower water consumption? A significant number of flats, for example, where toilets are completely renovated can potentially host a variety of new water-saving features. Can the Ministry also consider if there is scope to improve, fine-tune or incentivize the water efficiency labelling scheme with a view to nudge consumers to choose appliances with the highest number of ticks? Mr Chair, if every drop is precious, can more be done to alter consumption patterns? The opportunity provided by HDB upgrading may be a very useful entry point.